Sophia. It's uh, Sanji. I think a lot of people you of you may remember him. He chaired the Phosphor G215 in Seoul. And um, yeah, he is. Uh, <laughs> he wrote in his normal life. He's CEO and president of Gaia 3D, and a really cool guy, which I really can confirm. Um, it's really a pity that he can't join. But in Korea, it's 4:30 in the morning, and I said it's okay. I'm going to present your video, and um, that makes me a little bit sad after we had so many questions in the uh, talk before. So we won't be able to answer any questions maybe he wakes up and comes in, but I just start the video and um, enjoy the talk from Sanji. Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sanji Shin and I am from South Korea. At first, I would like to ask your understanding for my recorded presentations. Here in Korea is now uh, 4.30 a.m. early in the morning, so I have to record this presentation earlier for this talk. Uh, today, I'll be talking about the EIA, Environmental Impact Assessment Data Visualization Technology using POS4G. Okay, let's get started. However, before I start my presentation, I would like to turn off this video. I'm not sure how many of you are already familiar with the EIA, Environmental Impact Assessment Process. There are several EIA definitions. Here I got two definitions from Korea and the United Kingdom. Uh, according to Korea Environment Corporation, that is a state-owned public company in Korea, uh, according to them, EIA is designed to review, predict, and assess the potential environmental impact of a project before each plan is finalized in order to come up with measures to prevent or minimize any possible adverse impact that the project could have on, on the environment. Also, digital EIA project partners from UK gave similar definitions like below. The main core concept is that we need to examine the adverse impact to the environment before development project, that is EIA. EIA is adopted in many countries all around the world and regulated by each country's legislations. Usually, EIA has several key st stages like below, screening, scoping and baselining, assessment and predictions, submissions and consultations, and finally, decision and monitoring. Actually, each stage has many steps to be done. There are lots of lots of things to be done. So uh, also, if you have much interest in our EIA key stages, uh, you can see my slide later. This talk is about the research project that how to innovate EIA process with the cutting edge digital technology. I'm going to talk a little bit about the problem of current EIA process. Uh, one of the main problems is that current EIA statements are quite huge in terms of pages and contents with many unnecessary data and information. At the left side, you can see the real case of EIA statements from Korea. It has more than 1,800 pages, excluding appendixes. Right side, you can see the UK cases that they usually produce more than 4,000 pages long statements. It's ridiculous. Producing this kind of huge statement is quite burdensome. And current EIA statements are quite paper document oriented. So it's quite static without any interactivity. It means all the assessments and the prediction data are stopped and embedded only in documents. At the left side of this slide, you can see the noise pro predictions map with 2D and the vertical profiles. However, it does not give much information to the people who live in high buildings because 2D map shows the noise predictions on the ground level and the vertical profile shows the noise propagations at a certain point. If your house does not fall into that point, you can't realize how noisy your house may be. Right side P and P distribution map also shows the predicted data on the ground level as well. You know, air mass is three dimensional. So with this kind of current EIA problems, we may ask these kinds of questions to ourselves. What if we can see the assessment and predictions in an interactive way? 
What if we can change the development plan by and want to see the result in real time? What if we can interact with other stake stakeholders through one single EIA platform? What if we can visualize BIM and 3D GIS data on a web browser? These days, building information modeling is getting popular and popular. So if we can uh, integrate those BIM data in the EIA process, that might be cool. So these are the motivations of this research. Uh, we need to change document-oriented EIS statements into dynamic and multimedia-based EIS statements. We need to make EIS statements more accessible, readable, understandable to non-experts. Current EIS statements are so full of jargons, technical terms, scientific numbers, so you can be suffocated. And if we can increase the citizen participation throughout the whole EIA process, that will increase transparency around the EIA. Also, if we adopt cutting-edge digital technology to the EIA, we may enjoy many benefits like real-time modeling, real-time simulation, and easy communication. This research project is a national R&D project funded by Ministry of Environment, South Korea. Uh, it is a five years long project and many organizations are involved in this R&D project, including National Research Institute, universities, and companies like my company, Gaia 3D. And on the parent R&D project called the Decision Support System Development Project for EIA, uh, my company is carrying out main visualization part. Overall research structure is like this, and my company together with the other company, we are in charge of radar side development, upper side. Uh, and as I already mentioned earlier, my company will be responsible for the visualization platform mainly. Uh, we are currently working on beam GIS visualization and EI data visualization. Uh, this talk is part of this research outcome over the last 16 months. Uh, actually, this research project started last uh, June last year, and then uh, over the last 16 months, we have carried out several researches. This is a conceptual system design for the EIA data visualization system designed by my colleague. And uh, this will be a multi-layer based system. Uh, including data layer, processing and business layer, application layer, and the service layer. Uh, we hope by mixing up and combining components in each layer, this system could easily create another service. This is also a conceptual component breakdown, how to implement some of the analytical functions for the EIA by combining and chaining atomic process using WPS OGC standard web processing. We may reduce the development time and cost, and we expect increased flexibility. This is a proposed system architecture for our research project. We have a plan to make use of many numerous open source projects like PostGIS, GeoServer, GeoAirCache, and Mago 3D. And we hope we could release all the outcomes as an open source project later. Actually, when we submitted our application to Ministry of Environment, Korea, for this research project, we already proposed that we will use open source and will share all the outcomes as open source. We are still waiting for a Ministry of Environment's final decision. So why visualization matters? This famous picture showed, shows the importance of visualization of data. 13 data sets in this picture have the same X mean value, Y mean value, same standard deviation and correlation, but with a total different spatial patterns. Sometimes uh, descriptive statistics lose the trends and the patterns of data like this. And the EIA statements are full of data. However, those data don't say many things to the ordinary people with just numbers. Usually, there are analyzed data only. Effective data understanding includes not only data analytics, but also visual storytelling, data visualization, and real-time interactions. So, importance of visualization can be summarized like this. First, we can instantly know what big data says. Second, 
non expert can understand the meaning of, meaning of data more easily. Third, we can catch the trends and the patterns of the data. Fourth, we can easily share the meaning of data with other people. Fifth, we can increase the data uses. Here is a simple case that interactive noise visualization help understand noise propagation of a moving train. This research tried to implement this kind of visualization and the simulation for the stakeholders to increase the understanding around the EIA. From now on, I would like to share some of our research outcomes. More and more developers are trying to use BIM over their development phases. And if we can integrate those BIM data with the EI process, that will help us understand the big picture of the project in a more realistic way. Now you can see the uh, detailed uh, BIM data of a power plant. Also, we can see the faces of the constructions like this. We also can visualize the wind and uh, com compare the before and the after constructions like this. Now you are seeing the uh, wind data. Left side is a people construction uh, wind data, and the right side uh, you can see the after construction wind data. Uh, this shows how we developed the plan can change the wind flows and directions. Uh, actually, you know, current EIA statements show this kind of wind changes as just wind loads or uh, wind speed only. That does not give real implication of wind change to non expert We also tested the air pollution visualization as a heat map with ISO Ryan. Let's take a look at this. You can see the air polluted point, and then the, you can read the uh, value of the air polluted NOx or PM 2.5 or PM 10, and then the, how their uh, distribution, distribution is uh, over the surface. Also, using our sensor things API, uh, we can read the, the time series value and uh, we can display that uh, as a graph. This is the uh, co data collecting point uh, with the ISO line. Uh, we use the GDAL uh, for interpolation and to create uh, this kind of ISO line.
this is the hydrology visualization case. And then the, you can see very interesting our test. Uh, let's imagine that what if non-expert can participate in this kind of simulation and can give a feedback to developers and the government. Uh, this is the, the kind of tra trial to implement real-time simulation e EIA process. Users can see the, how the water flows and then the users can move the locations of a bank and see what will happen in real time. And now you can see the buildings and then the users can move the, their buildings around the stream and the, how the, the kind of development plan uh, affect the water flow. Uh, it's a very interesting case. And uh, this is another interesting visualization case uh, with oil spill or water pollutant flows. Okay, okay, let's take a look at. And then the, also we can move the bank like this. And then the, now you can see the red stream. Uh, red stream, that is the oil spill. Let's imagine that, that is the oil spill or water pollutant uh, uh, flows. And then the, by moving the object or some object of the source of the uh, oils or water pollutant, uh, you can see how the uh, water pollutants flows and how they affect the uh, water quality and other things uh, by collecting the moving data locations uh, we can put the, the, the kind of coordinate to that object and then the, we can simulate how oil spills flow and how water pollutant flows and other things okay let's wrap up now uh, as you know, uh, current EIA statements are quite paper document oriented. So simply to say, very old fashioned. And the current EIA statements are hard to navigate, hard to read, and hard to understand. With full of jargons, with full of technical terms, and with full of scientific numbers, which make public uh, inaccessible to the real meaning of statements. And uh, uh, current EIAs are falling behind the other industries, uh, harnessing digital technology to drive productivity. So we needed to innovate uh, in terms of EIA process. Uh, so this, proce this research project is an attempt to increase transparency, accessibility, trust, interactions uh, among state stakeholders around the EIA processes. Also, uh, it is expected to give a new tool to state stakeholders for understanding EIA process by developing uh, new ways of EIA data visualizations. So actually, as you saw by a presentation, we've tested many things and we uh, tried many things and uh, we got several uh, very significant outcomes but still long way to go. And uh, this is uh, just the uh, uh, initial stage of this research. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. And uh, I would like to also thanks to the Ministry of Environment Korea for funding this wonderful research project. And uh, if you have any questions or inquiries, inquiries feel free to mail me. Uh, my email address uh, is below. Uh, shshin at kayasrit.com. So if you have any questions and inquiries, just mail me. And thank you so much and uh, have a nice post 40. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sanji. This was really an impressing, impressing talk and uh, very cool examples. And I'm quite sure we had a big flood in Germany. I was really surprised what you already did uh, in that case. That really could be interesting for them because the flood came to places where it never been before and never nobody thought about that. And 